In this video, we will show you how to design the Implant Bar Framework. Start with creating a new order for the implant bar. Mark the teeth you are going to work on and select Abutment. Remember to choose a right type of implant system and kit. While scanning, always use a corresponding scan plug which must be screwed to the model. Then choose the bar bridge to connect the abutment teeth. From the drop-down list, select the type of a bar you would like to use. Remember that you can also do this during the design stage. In the implant bar bridge option, all abutments are grouped and have one insertion line for the restoration. Once your model has been scanned, place the annotations, keeping in mind that they always should be placed on the buckle side of the gum near the margin. Then click Next to move to the insertion direction step. An optimal direction will be calculated by the software, but you can modify it at this step. If it's moved too far for the abutments, the software will notify you with a red vector and a callout. Once the insertion direction has been set, Click Next and start the bar design. The software will generate an initial suggestion for the bar and the bar interface abutments. Now you can start editing the bar using the control points that appear when you hover a mouse cursor over the bar. Points, when activated, enable you to change the bar shape. You can adjust the bar length and when cantilever part of the bar exceeds the AP spread value of 1.5, it will be highlighted red. It is essential to observe this limitation to ensure the reliability of the design. You can also adjust the bar width and angulation as well as its height. The blue and purple control points allow you to do this in multiple directions, whereas the green ones only in directions shown by the vectors. If you press Shift and click a control point, you will be able to move all points in a given direction. If you need more control points, simply left-click on a green line on the bar. If you need to remove any of them, right-click on a control point and select Delete. To adjust the bar height, you can also use the Show Occlusal Plane option and then right-click on the control point to move it to Occlusal Plane or to move all of them together. At this step, you have the possibility to adjust bar surface to the insertion direction. The software allows you to change the bar type in a few ways. You can hover a mouse cursor over the bar and when a red control point appears, right-click it to switch from freeform to linear for a section between the two control points or for the whole bar. It is also here that you can change the bar type for this section. If you like to do this for the whole bar, go to the Type drop-down list. Furthermore, the Ending drop-down list allows you to switch between the flat and wrap around endings. When you make bar modifications, the abutment can be modified too. Just click on the abutment to start the modification. You can also change here the abutment's angulation with accordance to the restoration's insertion direction, as well as the abutment type. All other settings for the implant abutment are also available here, including the scalp toolkit. Once the bar and abutments have been adjusted, click Next to go to the Sculpt step where you can make adjustments to the bar structure using the Sculpt Toolkit tools. You can add an attachment here if your design requires it. In case you need to adjust the bar structure for any reason, for example an attachment fitting, remember that you can always switch between the design steps without losing your design. To add an attachment, go to the Attachment Settings find the desired group and type of attachment, 
and set the default orientation. Then place it on the bar. There are four types of orientation. Insertion direction, according to the insertion direction line. Surface normal, according to the plane surface of the bar. View direction, in relation to the viewing point. And group direction, where attachments are grouped. It is quite important to have a bar design in the correct relation to the gums. The Scalp Toolkit's Contacts and Smoothing option allows you to set a distance to the gum for the bar interface. The whole bar structure is now parallel and a secondary part can be easily placed on top. Furthermore, remember that you can always check the screw hole placement in your design and change the model view in visual settings. Once the modification of your design is finished, go to the assembly step by clicking Next, where the bar and abutments will be combined. You can also modify the assembly settings here. Then click Next. On the finalized step, you will have a chance once again to make small adjustments to your design using the Scalp Toolkit. When finished, click Next to get to the Save step and then close. We hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.